Hello and welcome to the K9 Log software demo. I am going to uh, show you how easily this software can be utilized to create your uh, K9 training and search reports. On the top left hand corner I have created or assigned a picture file where the organization or department would utilize this to assign their logo or their favorite uh, K9. Uh, opening the K9 training report I have already assigned uh, several of the fields uh, with data. Uh, selecting or clicking on the record date um, lets us utilize the calendar function where we can select the uh, month and day and assign it to the record just by simply uh, selecting it. The canine's name is a field where you can uh, add an unlimited amount of canines to the software to be referenced later from this populated list uh, and assign the canine to each record. So as the years go on, uh, departments may retire canines. Um, some software limits you to just a couple canines um, to where you have to purchase a new license for the software. Our software with canine log software is an unlimited amount of canines that can be entered and utilized. Uh, the canines age also functions with a populated list where you can simply uh, select the age of the canine and assign it to that field. Uh, the type of ID is also a similar uh, function where you can enter in the type of ID the canine uh, utilizes to identify the subject or quarry. Um, and once that is typed in, it can be added to the list again and populate it where you can easily reference it later down the road with your records. Uh, these four functions or fields rather, uh, date and time trail laid and date and and time canine scented are used to calculate the age of trail. This uh, is done automatically with a function simply by double clicking on it. Um, it's not something you have to try and worry about miscalculating or figuring out in your head. Uh, simply by double clicking on it, it will create and uh, add that, that uh, calculation to the age of the trail field. Um, hours trained and time on trail are also a function where the handler enters in the hours that he's trained and the time he had on the trail and as the uh, records are created um, the totals are uh, populated with a running total or a running sum. Uh, the rest of this is is pretty self-explanatory where you can simply uh, click on the appropriate uh, data to assign it to the record or report. Um, along with these text boxes, basically uh, select them and type in the data. And arrowing down here, or scrolling down rather, similar uh, functions have uh, populated data in them also to allow the handler to simply uh, point and click and assign the data that's already been then, uh, filled in. The handler can uh, comment on the canine's work. Um, as add report or notes on the uh, worked trail. This is an unlimited amount of data that can be entered in under the report notes and uh, scrolling down. Uh, each record can have assigned a unique map or JPEG file uh, rather, rather whether it's from a GPS or another means or source. Um, each record or log ID can have a uh, unique map assigned to it. If the handler wishes to uh, print or view the current report, he or she can simply uh, click on the open and it will pull up a report with the populated data in it that we've entered, entered prior. And if I arrow over, it will uh, pull in the, the GPS map. Also, that was assigned to that record or report. And again, the unlimited notes would be printed after, whether it's a half a page or one page or two page. It just will uh, continually print out after. Similar uh, options here, if the handler wants to uh, print or, or view or report, he or she can enter in the specific date and search on them um, through this means here. 
um, they can narrow it down again by entering in a certain date or uh, entering in the canine's name if they wanted to list all records for a specific canine and print them they could and also uh, with the subject if they were looking for a particular uh, subject for a report and couldn't remember the log ID or the date but remembered the subject's name they could search and print that report also. Uh, Weather Underground was uh, nice enough to let us uh, reference their URL and by simply clicking on this weather button it will let us reference uh, a list of uh, weather that's that's been uh, created by Weather Under Underground online. Um, you must have internet access to utilize this function and it will allow us to uh, type in either the city and state and or zip code and it will search for that area and come back based on the date we enter. I'm going to go back one day though because uh, sometimes for that uh, specific day or if it's late in the evening they don't have anything entered in for that day yet so I'm going to back up here a bit. So once this comes up we should be able to see uh, a vast amount of data that Weather Underground has for us that you may or, or may not uh, utilize for your reports. But as I mentioned you can kind of uh, narrow in or zone in on the closest time frame and, and gather the uh, wind speed, temperatures, things like that. If I close this uh, training report, we can open the uh, actual canine search report, and that works similar in the same uh, means. Um, some of the uh, data fields are a little bit different and whatnot, uh, but everything works in the same fashion and order where you can assign a, a map to it, GPS map to that unique uh, report or record. And again, print and preview and search. Uh, a couple other features, uh, there's some graphs uh, of uh, certain training reports if you want to see how one canine is compared uh, to another, how it's doing, um, kind of a statistical analysis. Um, also you can export and import data uh, simply by uh, clicking on buttons to export data. We can import that data then later into a uh, newer version of the software and transfer all the records or reports.